Battle Stations, Pacific, multiplayer is huge and exciting. What players can really expect is just intensity, is, is action. You know, it's always exciting, it's, it's always rewarding. Battle Stations Midway players enjoyed the game online and we've worked hard to ensure we can offer an even greater experience this time round. When it comes to the development of Battle Stations Pacific, the fans have been instrumental in how the game's unfolded and in terms of what the devs have really concentrated on. We've got fantastic fans, they're very, very vocal, they're very active on the forums, but they're also very intelligent, you know, they really express what they wanted to see, what they liked, what they didn't like. The multiplayer offers five new action-packed modes. Each offers a unique style of online gameplay. In Siege mode, the player chooses whether to defend or attack an island and will have a range of units at his or her disposal to do so. Competitive mode is an arcade action round where all players compete against each other to reach the target score first. Providing air or sea support to key units of the war effort is the objective of escort mode. This involves defending bombers, carriers, transport ships and lots more. Of course you can choose to join the other side and be the attacker. In terms of an actual area of the game, which I'm kind of most pleased with and I think the fans are going to get a real kick out of, it's the island capture mode, it's a new mode for multiplayer, it's where the strategic elements really come to the forefront of gameplay. The instant action dual mode pitches you against your enemy's equivalent unit class in a team deathmatch style game mode. The multiplayer will include eight different maps for each mode, some scalable to four sizes, allowing for over a hundred different scenarios in total. The skirmish mode is one of the new features you will find in Battle Station specific. Basically it provides players with the opportunity to play all the five new multiplayer modes against the AI. Not only is it single player content, because every game is going to be different, you know, the AI will react differently each time, you can try different tactics each time. It's also a way for players to hone their skills before going to the multiplayer arena. Whilst we've looked at all the historical data and tried to make it as authentic as possible, we needed to respond to the information that the fans were giving to us. The follow cam feature is another great addition to Battle Stations Pacific. It was present in Midway, but not necessarily on all weapons. So now it's on torpedoes, it's on bombs, it's on artillery shells. And what it means is basically you can follow the path of the bomb or the path of the shell all the way through to hit the target. The battlestations.net community has been very supportive and I hope they will be satisfied with the end result. Battlestation specific is epic, authentic and bigger than ever before.